Yeah. You know, like that was such a huge part of my life. And it was a great <laughs> time. I'm sure you remember when, you know, we had all these great writers and photographers. Oh, very well. People would come in. People would just come through the office and you're always meeting people. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I kind of miss that. I, I miss that too. I mean, Herb, it was a great, uh, a great atmosphere there because yeah. you had so much, like you said, so many great uh, writers and also uh, photographers, you know, like myself and totally. some others, um, who were all basically there for the same reason. Yeah. You know, it, um, it wasn't even so much just a thing of uh, working for Herb. Mm -hmm. It was a thing of, of, of supporting the whole electronic music scene and you know, struggling against the, you know, the mainstream media and their almost universal negative slant, you know, yeah. towards the music, towards the artists, towards the people in the scene, you know. And it was, to be fair, that was also true with the other magazines, you know, that sure. were out there. I mean, because we all worked, almost all of us worked for all of them, yeah. you know. I mean, with I'm talking about BPM and Insider and... Yeah. Uh, and uh, Mixer, you know, mm -hmm. and Lotus, you know, mm -hmm. and other ones like that. But yeah, yeah it, was, it was a great example of a, a huge community, you know, just pulling together and, uh, and basically, basically it was just a huge uh, DIY, you know, mentality, which was sure. pretty much born out of necessity because, yeah. again, the mainstream just would not, in those days, just would not accept the music or the scene or the people in it. So crazy to think. I mean, that wasn't that long ago. It wasn't. 